Hi guys, welcome back. This is a highly requested video to do a comparison between my Hermes Kelly 25 and Kelly 28. Today I will be comparing leather, hardware, salier, price difference, what fits, and my preferences. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one do you like better, Kelly 25 or Kelly 28. I will also link a few other videos about my Kelly 25 and 28. For example, like how much I spent to get my Kelly 25 video down below in the description box and uh, feel free to check them out as well. Without any further ado, let's just get started. Let's start with my Kelly 25. It's a 2020 Epson leather gold hardware in gold color. My Kelly 28 is in gold hardware, pache ming color, and it's in box leather. It's a 1983 vintage Kelly. What's interesting is in 1983, the year stamp is Y and it's on the strap here. And my Kelly 25 is 2020 and the year stamp is Y as well but it's not on the strap anymore because Hermes no longer putting the year stamp on the strap here. It's together with the serial number inside of this bag. It's just a coincidence, like both of my Kelly's are in the year with the Y stamp. Box leather is really uh, shiny, glossy. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it's a really, really nice leather. So a lot of vintage Hermes bags are in box leather, but starting from 2020, they started bringing back the old box leather into a lot of bags as well. One of the characteristics is that box leather is relatively speaking easier to get scratch. I really don't mind it because I think it's just a really nice character of the box leather. Epson leather is an embossed leather, so if, I don't know if you guys can see the grain. Supposedly what we're seeing here is not how the leather looked originally on the leather. Epson leather maintained the structure and the shape super well, and it's super lightweight and durable. So I'm definitely a big fan of um, Epson leather. Both of my Kelly 25 and Kelly 28 are in Salier style, which you guys can see the stitching on the side of the bag and the bag are super structured. There's another style called a retorn. I'm not a huge fan of the slouchy bags, at least for now. I just love the Salier bag so much. And then here's so you guys can see the side looks pretty similar and it's just that the 28 is a little bit bigger and taller in, in the front as well. And then the back looks the same as well. And uh, even the inside pocket, my Kelly 25 has two pockets, 28 has the same thing you can see. It also has a zipper pocket and another pocket. The measurement here is about 29 centimeters and the tall is about 21 centimeter and the side here is 11.5 centimeter. I measured from the top of the shoulder strap to here is about 43 centimeter. And my Kelly 25 here is 25 centimeter and the tall is 18.5 centimeter and here is 9.5 centimeter. And I also measured the, the strap here it's about 47 centimeter. You guys know that supposedly these bags are uh, 25 centimeter and 28 centimeter, but it's not necessarily exact to be 25 or 28 because these bags are handmade. Sometimes they're like slightly uh, off to the exact uh, measurement, but I think it's really nice because your bag is unique and everyone, uh, every single one of those bags are special made. So I'm about 105 pound and a 5.5 five, and this is how it looks on me. Kelly 25's a strap is a little bit longer. I'm not sure if it's because uh, my Kelly 28 is the vintage style, but that's how it looks when I wear them as a shoulder bag. Um, I can also do crossbody for both of them. I don't have any problem with it. So it's also really cute uh, to wear as crossbody. I can just put it in the back. It looks pretty chic. Most of the time, I'm just wearing them as top handle bags. I either put the flap on or just put the flap inside. 
both ways works and you can see this is how 28 and 25 looks on me 28 25 so I stuffed my Kelly 28 and I'm gonna take everything out and try to fit them into my Kelly 25 and let me show you guys and this is my ref up charger my twilly chapstick my key Chanel hand cream foundation Hermes lipstick Face Mist, Chanel Lipstick, Sunglasses, Card Case, Alcohol Wipes, AirPods. That's it. So, I'm trying to put everything in here. I put the bag really full but the only two items that I'm not able to fit is actually only my sunglasses and these alcohol wipes so surprisingly Kelly 25 are able to fit uh, a little bit more than I thought definitely really good size there's definitely some differences 28 can fit more stuff than 25 but I don't think the difference is that big I paid about 11,300 something for my Kelly 25 in the boutique. Uh, my vintage Kelly 28, I paid about a little over 7,000. I don't know how much exactly a 28 cost in the boutique at this moment, but I did ask my essay this question. So she told me it really depends on the leather that will make a difference. And also generally speaking, or Kelly 28 is 1000 or 2000 more expensive than Kelly 25. Any of you are interested in getting one in a boutique, this is a FYI. A lot of people uh, think that Kelly's are really hard to get stuff out of them. Uh, I don't have any problem with it. It's because I never really um, like close my bag fully and then takes the strap out and then open the bag that's why it's not that difficult for me to get stuff um the other thing that i really like both kelly 25 and 28 is because they have straps and it's super important for me to be hands-free especially i'm a mom now i love both of them so much i would say if you would like to carry a little bit more stuff then you should go for the kelly 28 but if you don't carry that much stuff and Kelly 25 is really good enough for the essentials based on what fits in the bag comparison, the size difference is not that big. The other thing that I want to mention is that because the small bag is so in trend right now, it is a little bit more difficult to get a Kelly 25 than a Kelly 28. So I'm not talking about exceptions. Maybe you're luckier and you don't have to spend that much. But generally speaking, if you want to get a smaller bag like 25, you supposed to spend more than Kelly 28. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. Re retail price of these two bags are like a thousand, two thousand difference. I don't know if that will change your decision, but it, it is something to consider as well. For me, if you ask me to only pick one, it's like impossible. I asked myself so many times this question, but I couldn't get an answer because I realized that sometimes I want a Kelly 28, I want to carry a little bit more stuff sometimes i just feel like a kelly 25 also because they both are in different colors so it really depends on uh what i'm wearing as well just which one i feel like either way i don't think you can go wrong with these two bags i really couldn't pick one but definitely let me know your preference i hope this video has been informative let me know if you have any additional questions please like my video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next week Bye-bye.